Okay, so first off, what you want to make sure is to check your model number and actually also check to make sure you're connected to the internet on your PS3, wired or wireless, doesn't matter. And also make sure to check your model a num a model as well. All fat models are supported as well as all, uh, some of the slim models uh, that are uh, supported, but they're older, the older slim models. The slim models are like 50-50. Uh, some some slim models uh, you won't actually uh, see the later slim models having any support anytime soon. Um, I'll put a, a, a link in the script, uh, put a little description of what mod uh, uh, modifications are allowed for the PS3 Slim. And also, hang on, let me actually just um, let me actually uh, show you guys what models are actually supported. This is actually I'm looking through uh. Some of the stuff between a mixture of uh, blank lock layer that whatever his YouTube channel name is this guy right here And I'm also looking at the guide just so I can help you guys out as well Right here and you want to make sure you're uh, you also want to make sure you have a USB stick with fat 32 and uh, uh, a Format on your P USB And you want to actually check your model number so basically and also your model type so all fat models are supported. Slim models are first two with C E C H. There are twenty, twenty one, and twenty five. And if your and if your PS3 model uh, version is three point five six or lower, your console supported. No, all slim models have to use ten, and do not currently support custom firmware at the moment. This doesn't mean that it won't support ten when it says no slim, slim models are support. Don't worry, you can still use ten, but you cannot use custom firmware. Uh, this case. Uh, when I'm actually looking at my console, uh, it, it, figure out which, also figure out, uh, download the hyper firmware uh, 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 or the the stuff for, that you need. And for this case, it's going to be uh, right in the description of this video. Then I'm going to come back to you guys once I got some more info gathered around. Okay, so once you download this, I'm pretty sure what you got to do is you gotta actually uh, click on uh, the download link, and then once you've done that, you go to the PS. There should be a subfolder called PS3. Then you you want to put that in the root of your SD card, or actually no, not SD card, your USB stick. My bad. Uh, so then once you've done that, you're done for now. I'll come back once I'm actually got more information gathered. So as I know, the ex uh, the exam uh, tool set was actually a uh, hosted tool set. A self-hosted tool set for making your own jailbreak set. So you can actually basically make your own hosted tools uh, uh, for like making jailbreak websites instead of having to worry about BGM actually doing it. So I'm gonna actually uh, show you guys how to use it. Open Xamp and make sure. Uh, hang on, let me actually look into more stuff real quick. So you want to make sure that the very top of the structure is installed. But also, you can just uncheck the unnecessary stuff on the, underneath them as well. So make sure Apache can run on your uh, own system, uh, on your system uh, PC. And then once it's actually got confirmation uh, uh, from after hitting start that's saying you can run, then stop. press that same button again to actually stop it because you're going to need to actually the thing to actually make it run on your uh, own uh, uh, run on uh, some cu a custom website hit the explore webs uh, p uh, part button uh, in the uh, Apache and uh, like I'll show you real quick. it's right here actually oh wait no I don't have to show you that part I can just show you like right here so it's like right here and then you go to this whole setup right here so we're going to install some custom files in here to make sure that this actually runs properly. Okay, so inside the explorer file, uh, inside the, this, you'll see some, a, a file called httdocs. You'll basically want to go in there. These are just some files that are basically uh, so uh, the uh, web files of the website that live in here. You want to find the things out to, to replace these. So go ahead and delete and get everything in, out of this folder. Okay, so inside this, uh, 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 inside the HTT, uh, inside the PS3 thing, you'll see something called PS3 Flash Writer 490. 
go ahead and click in there and then copy and paste everything you see here inside that so, uh, little folder and paste it in the explorer exam uh, HTT docs folder okay so once you're actually done go ahead and actually uh I decided to come back a day later so I could fix my uh, exam real quick. So, um, once you're done that, uh, yeah, once and you've done everything, go ahead and um, go to the PS3 Flash Writer and copy every and paste everything you see in this folder and uh, put it in the HT Docs folder by going to Explorer and then go to HT Docs. You want to make sure Apache can run correctly. Make, double click that ad, click that admin button again, or click the start button again, and then click admin. If you see this uh, right now, you've done everything correctly. It's just, you you can you now officially can run uh, the firmware. You can and now close any applications uh, that you can run on there, and also stop Apache for now. Uh, correction. You might you might have to actually keep a uh, example running in the background, and uh, while actually you actually uh, are actually doing this, so you could just minimize that and then uh, continue from there. Okay, so you'll need to know what your uh, uh, P uh your PC's IP is, so you can connect it to your PS3. To do that, uh, type go in uh, here and actually. Type in CMD and then open in the command prompt. And in the command prompt, open the IP address by going ipconfig. This will allow you to, what you want to pay attention to is your local IP address, which is actually displayed right here. We're, we're going to use that to connect it to our PS3. So here's a, a good way you can actually tell if your uh, PS3 is actually uh, actually able to read your PS3's uh, USB drive. Um, here, so at the very uh, uh, right of uh, at the right of your uh, USB drive flash drive, uh, go to uh, press right at the very beginning of the left 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 part of it. Press right two times, and you'll see in photo gallery you'll see USB device. Uh, and whatever the name is of your USB flash drive. This is important to make sure that uh, your PS3 can read your uh, USB stick. Alright. Quick note, you have to actually install the, now it's time to install the hyper firmware. Go into system update and settings and then go to update via stored media. If you have your hyper firmware installed, you can actually install it via that way. However, I already have the hyper firmware installed twice and replaced it with the custom firmware. So I'm not going to take this step. As well as the fact that you have to install it twice. Uh, remember that it's, if you install it one time, you have to install it the second time. This does not apply to the custom firmware. So here's how we're going to actually get uh, the jailbreak working on this. So uh, when you actually do it, you do it with the internet uh, browser, and then go into it. Press triangle, and then uh, go to tools, and select it with the X button. And then home, and go to the home page, and then select it with X. You'll see this thing called blank page, and then you want to select that with X. And then go back to pre press triangle, and go to tools delete cookies and then continue with yes go back to tools again delete search history select with yes go back to tools one more time select delete cache and select with yes and then once more delete this delete authentication information and select with yes there you go now you want to actually uh, close the browser and then open it again. However, I'm going to make it darker so you can actually see what I'm looking at here. 
you want to actually confirm whether uh, your device is actually NOR or NAND. And this is how you actually select it. And here's, here's how you make it, that decision. All fat models that have uh, A, B, C, E, or G, X and, uh, are basically considered NAND. All NOR models are considered fat and slim models with uh, uh, the, any other letter, and they are uh, and, no, and they are NOR if they actually have uh, also the minimum version 3.56. So if you have a, uh, you, if you look at, take a look at your model number on the back of your uh, console to see uh, whether the, your console is NAND or NOR. Most of the time, fat models are NAND, but most of the time, uh, sometimes slim models can uh, can also, and fat models can be uh, NOR. But it depends on your model number. Most uh, older, uh, um, most newer mo uh, PS3 models are usually NOR, but I think uh, the PS older uh, P uh, PS3 fat models are usually NAND. So that's how you make that decision. Done uh, everything uh, that's actually beyond uh, uh, run checks and everything. You actually uh, okay. So let me actually show you real quick. So you want to actually patch the. Uh, uh, you want to actually make sure the dump operation is successful, but you don't want to go. A patch nor flat or NAND flash memory just yet. We're gonna get to that in just a moment. So for this reason, you will have like a PS3 flash dump official firmware dot bin, and inside that, uh, wait, uh, okay. So what you want to do here is you want to actually take the PS3 flash drive official firmware and drop it into the uh drag and drop your dump here dot bat inside there. And then uh, that should actually check for any uh, ROS uh, checks there and to make sure no errors inside this uh, uh, PS3's uh, bin file. So, there you, and then once you have that done, uh, you also want to make sure that this is saying 4.90 on both ROS 0 and ROS 1. If this is cor done correctly, you should get that correctly. Th then you are now ready to actually uh, install the custom firmware. But before you do that, it patched of norm flash memory, and if everything seems correctly, uh, go to patch operation successful, and then you can install the custom firmware. Anyways, guys, that's all I have for this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out. Bye.